What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll be may I follow up on a topic somebody asked about picking up of vehicles from uh, Dar es Salaam. So it's just a follow up. So you, that tells you that if you make a question or a comment down below, talk about that vehicle, I'm going to reply it faster than expected. Why? Because I'm a car guy. I love it. So Antonio Mwene says, please talk about picking of the car. So how do you pick up a car after you order a car from Japan? Then there's another question. How many hours of driving from Dar es Salaam to Lusaka? Another one says, picking up of the car, working with agents. Yes, so two people. Olive Grace says, picking, talk about picking up the car and working with the agents. Yes, how many hours driving from Dar es Salaam to Lusaka? That is the Apunyu Lawrence. Um, and then ordering of the car from Dar es Salaam. Okay, okay, okay. Let first things begin. So, eh, by the way, I love the camera that I'm using. It is so, so nice such that, you know, this camera... When I move to the left, you know, you can have a camera person who is helping you. When you move like this, it follows you. So this is the camera I'm using, the DJI Osmo Pocket. So when I do this, uh, it will still follow me. Look, I'm going to this direction. It is still following me. This camera is simply nice. So if I mean I see it, I'm doing this, it is still following me. I just love this camera. When I move like this, it is still following me. It sees my face. So it follows my face like that. Okay. Now, picking up of the car from Dar es Salaam, guys. Very simple, straightforward. Okay, not very simple. I'm not going to lie to you. If you have never picked a vehicle from Dar es Salaam, never go to Dar es Salaam to pick a car alone. Number one, you will suffer the things you've never experienced. You need someone. For example, the first time I went to Dar es Salaam, I went with a friend of mine who had already been there a few times, already knows the process. So, oh, and somebody else mentioned that I should also, I also mentioned the best uh, car company to order. Which, which is the best Japanese company to order the cars we use here in Zambia? Okay, now, what happens? Okay, let me like you go back a little bit again. What you do is that, you locate, and that will be the first question. I think this should be the first question that uh, I should start with. Uh-huh. Okay, which website? Okay, Missy. Missy says, which website do you recommend? Which website do you recommend? Okay, I'm going to tell you a secret. Whichever companies you have heard, this is one of the, or if, if anything, is the largest, Japanese seller of second-hand vehicles. I mean, it is legit. But however, that is Travotainment telling you from experience. You don't just go anyhow, any website. You may just find yourself uh, that you have gone into a scam. So the best company used to be called, called Trade Car View, but they have changed the name to TCV. So TCV. It used to be called Trust Cam. It used to be called Trade Car View. TradeCarView.com. Guys, who does that more than Travotainment? That's why I always tell you if you are new on my channel, or you are not yet subscribed, subscribe, turn on bell notification, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to me, guys. I give you this information for free. TCV. Or if you put TradeCarView.com, it will still take you to that company. So when you order this car, you order a car there in Japan in no time. This vehicle will come, you direct it to come to Dar es Salaam. And, but before it reaches, it takes anywhere between four weeks, something like that, up to six weeks most of the time. So before it arrives, they'll send you papers which are going to have the export certificate, the invoice, bill of lading. So two copies, you send one to Nakonde, your agent, whom you must know, don't deal with a stranger, you are dealing with your car. The vehicle in Dar es Salaam, that's why I'm saying you can never 
just send papers to a person you don't go to. Somebody may say, but why don't I carry the papers? Then I go and give him physically. That will make your trip to be expensive. Some of us have gone to Dar es Salaam before. Same day I arrive, I pick the car and even start coming back. Why? Because I know someone there. Or I spend one night in Dar es Salaam the following day. An agent, if you take your papers there, suppose your agent takes five days or one week. All those things have happened to me because of making such silly mistakes. So you need to know someone. This is why most of the time, like I've told you, I have gone to Dar es Salaam more than 100 times. So I'm legit. I know the system better and I can help you get your vehicle from Japan. Yes, you order it from Japan to arrive at the port of Dar es Salaam. You must have an agent. Never use the agent you do not know. Otherwise, you give your car to a thief. You are giving them the papers. They'll simply order it before you know it. Instead of coming to Zambia, your vehicle will end up in Dar es Salaam or in one village in Tanzania or even go to Kenya. Or the papers will arrive there. Then you, the agent, the same one you know, will send you a message, will send you a WhatsApp, will call you, okay, please come tomorrow uh, or come after tomorrow and pick your car. Then that guy, you cannot clear a vehicle for yourself. That is how, those are the rules of clearing a vehicle from abroad. Yes. So, another question. So, the, the website I recommend is TCV. Mm -hmm. Why do I say so? So, people hire me. Maybe you may be the next person. You hire me. You pay me a few dollars. I go and pick the vehicle on your behalf. Or we go together if you have got transport. We may fly together. Uh -huh. Fly together to Dar es Salaam. Pick the vehicle with you. Bring it. Don't use a straight. Why do we recommend those vehicles? They are more better condition. They are in a perfect condition such that if the vehicle arrives home, you won't regret. The vehicle will be in a very good condition. Unlike... Buying a second half from within, you think you have saved money. You have not saved money. Zambians have got generally very bad service record. The next question says, uh -huh. so please talk about picking of the car. So when you have those papers, then they'll give you, you pick it, drive. So Apunyu, uh, Lawrence, how many days driving? For example, you start off around... Uh, Say 4 p.m. or 16 hours. What would go 16 hours from Dar es Salaam? You will drive all the way from Dar es Salaam. You will drive, you may drive from 16 hours. If you drive nanny stop, nanny stop, you are not disturbed, or you start off from 2 p.m. You are going to reach the border by 7 hours in the morning. You will reach the Tanzanian border known as Tunduma. So Tunduma, because you have to wait for your agent again to clear your vehicle, it may take maybe four or five hours, the process, if he, depending on the traffic. So sometimes you'd be there from morning and then you have to go, maybe you start off in the afternoon 14 hours again, which is 2 p.m. Again, 2 p.m., you have to drive all the way, from, Daresa, uh, from Tunduma border, which is on the Zambian side, it's called uh, Tunduma. On the Tanzanian side, sorry, on the Tanzanian side, it is known as Tunduma. Zambian side is known as Nakonde. You will drive again from Nakonde to Lusaka again. You may start off from 14 hours. You may need to hammer the whole night and that you had almost a sleepless night. You may still reach the early hours of the following morning. That is uh, that is because Lusaka to thing is about um, 100, 1,150 kilometers from Nakonde to Lusaka. But from Dar es Salaam to the border, which is Tunduma, it is 950 kilometers. Yes. Okay. So that is the process of picking up a vehicle. So you have, so then you, when they pick up, they surrender them to the immigration at the Zambian uh, immigration. Tanzania it will not be easy, but where it is coming here, they will give you value for you to say, okay, you the vehicle you have bought cost so much. And then it is really, you will never find another website better than TCV, trust me. So when you reach there at the border, the, that is when they will tell you the, the value. Although these days you can even, when you reach there, even the agent will just help you, okay. 
Bwana yokako so much. So that is how much it costs. So any other follow up question please do so. Uh, the other question is also on uh, Olive Grace says okay yes talk about the video about ordering of uh, the car from Dar es Salaam. Now the correction here is the correction. We don't order cars from Dar es Salaam. We order these vehicles mainly from Japan. Some of them even come from Dubai, but I'll tell you, don't buy cars from Dubai. Buy from Japan. There are many reasons. Uh, the other video I'm going to talk about why you should not buy a diesel vehicle, uh, especially the latest one, why you can't buy a diesel vehicle from Dubai. But rather, well, that's the topic for another day. I'm going to talk of all about that. So, Olive Grace says ordering of the car from Dar es Salaam. So, the first correction is that you don't order a car from Dar es Salaam. You only pick it up. So, our nearest uh, port of entry, when we order these vehicles from Japan, they come with the ship, they sell. Our nearest uh, port is Dar es Salaam. So, that's why we have to drive all the way they have to move like 2000 kilometers from dar es salaam you know uh, to bring it to lusaka that is how it goes there are some people again well not too personal but if you want you can do it take a risk you have worked hard to buy a car why would you give somebody you don't know or somebody you won't be you won't have control over to pick your car you are better off to pick your brother you speak the same language not you are speaking with somebody who speaks a different language uh picks up the car for you go and ask how swahili drivers carry vehicles when you hire a swahili man to pick up your vehicle from dar es salaam i wish you would know how they will race cars like a maniac they race your car in potholes in humps like in it's a racing vehicle. They don't care. All they want is the money. You pay the money. So do you want a driver? You have a car here in Zambia. You are buying a car from here in Zambia. Do you need somebody who can pick your vehicle? I'm here already. I'm the premier wheel driver for Zambia. So uh, Lawrence Apunyo saying, Ah. Oh yeah, Apunyo Lawrence was saying, uh, you cut across driving from small vehicle to big vehicles. Funny. Good day, bro. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, driving of vehicles. Yes, I drive anything from a motorbike to a small car, be it a Mercedes Benz, German, whatever, manual, automatic. Bigger buses like those coach buses up to big trucks yes those big trucks that is the what i'm licensed to drive and i've proved it on this channel i have done a motor a motorbike um, uh, i've done a motorbike video i've done many car driving videos i have done trucks videos yes on this same channel with those who have followed me i did the volvo truck series if you did not Type in Volvo Truck Series, very big tonnage, uh, more than 30 ton. Uh, yes, those are the kind of vehicle. That is my size. That's how it goes, guys. You see, Hello. going to Sesheke in a Volvo Truck machine. River. The truck is massive, guys. I'll show you when we get down. It's big.
and that's all guys I had for you. So that is what happened. So you don't order cars from Dar es Salaam, you only pick them up. In the previous video I mentioned that we used to pick them up from the port in Deben, South Africa, but for two major reasons. Number one, uh, uh, a lot of crime on the way. You pick your vehicle as you are coming. Our friends from that side, it's not every South African, by the way. There are only a few people. We always say that in this world, majority of the people in this world are very good people, but those few people, there are few bad guys in South Africa who would track you by the road they attack you with a gun and snatch away your vehicle from you if you resist you just die we had many that's why we changed from South Africa because of crime number two is that South Africa had also changed the rules because South Africa they have got it's the most developed country they have got their own vehicles they want you to put them on a carrier because they are second hand vehicles South Africa has got the, the largest car uh, industry, so they promote only brand new vehicles to run on their roads. If you buy it, it comes on top, so it becomes very expensive if you were to put it on a carrier. So Dar es Salaam became very, very uh, reasonable. Yes, I think I've answered. Another question, put it down below. I've talked about, so Missy, I've talked about the best website, which is the TCV. Yes, I'm going to, yeah, so those things, I'm sure you can see some screenshots I'm putting here or here. Yes, nice one, Mr. T, awesome. Sam G, you are a genius, thank you so much. SMT, awesome. Uh -huh. Fahim Jonath, Jonathan, nice one, Mr. T. Okay, guys, out of the more than 73 tribes, yes, in our country, Zambia, we are one Zambia, one nation. See you in my next one. Adios.